What's up guys, it's Abby Charlene and this is my channel and first of all I just wanted to say happy 2020. This is my first video of 2020. Um, I am trying to get better at posting regularly but um, it's, <laughs> it's difficult when you're working a lot of the time and I also have to put my focus on school. I really want to do better this semester so yeah I am trying to sort of figure out a balance between my YouTube channel and work and school and obviously I have a girlfriend so my relationship and then my social life just in general with my friends so yeah tough <laughs> um anyway so as you can tell by the title of today's video it is going to be talking about my experience working at a concert venue because I feel like it's really glamorized and when you go to a venue you sort of have this like really sort of awesome view of how you think working for a concert venue would be, you know, you get discounts on tickets or whatever, you get to meet the bands, and I'm here to tell you today that it is not like that at all. At least from my experience um, in the venue that I worked at, that was not the case at all. I know going in, I definitely thought that there would be a lot more benefits than there was, um, and I just, I won't be saying the name of the venue in this video just for privacy reasons and I'm not talking bad about the venue at all I was literally just at the venue last night and it is where I go to a lot of concerts I don't think the venue itself is a bad place and I don't necessarily think the people that work there are bad I just feel like there are some flaws just like there is in any any other workplace but because this is a music channel and I know a lot of my viewers probably go to concerts I just sort of wanted to give you guys an insight of what it looks like from the inside. I worked at Indisclosed Concert Venue from October until November, so I literally only worked there for a month, literally just over a month, and I was so miserable the entire time I worked there. I mean, some days it wasn't that bad. It really, truly, when people say, you know, your co-workers make the job or the experience that is absolutely 100% true I found that with every single job I've had and this one was no exception I there were certain days where I absolutely dreaded going to work and then there were other times where I was like so happy at work just because of who I was working with that day and what really sucked is I never knew who I was going to be working with until I got to work that day because in the position that I was working, we didn't have like set jobs. I was part of guest services, which meant I did a little bit of everything. And my job changed from show to show. Um, I did ticket scanning, I did, um, I answered questions, I did seating, I did cleaning. Um, so yeah, that was basically like the synopsis of my job. I did literally pretty much everything except for security I did. And, um, so basically how it worked is I would go to work, they would schedule me for a show, I would go to work, and then they would tell me, they would give me my position for the day. So say I was on upper balcony. So if I'm an upper balcony, basically I'm gonna be looking at tickets and showing people to their seats. And it, the job itself wasn't bad. Um, so basically, I guess I, tell my story of how I quit and why I quit so I was working a Broadway show which it wasn't a Broadway show it was like a touring show a touring show not a, not a concert it was like a touring dance show it was uh, so you think you can dance on tour and this was my first show working this type of show well not exactly. Okay, so the way that it was, there were so many people coming into the venue, they had to put a hold, which means they had to stop letting people in so they could let the people in front of them in, basically, and so we were on a hold. Well, the training at this particular venue was not very efficient. It was very quick and done in literally two hours, and then after that, I was pretty much set free to do my job, so to speak, and... I had never, I didn't know what a hold was for one, and I didn't know, you know, the protocol, the procedures, whatever, of how that worked. 
and I just kept hearing people say we're on a hold, we're on a hold. I'm like, okay, you know, shut the doors, don't let people in. That's what I assumed that meant. So I'm shutting the doors, telling people they can't go in yet, that they have to wait. And this group of elderly people walk up and the woman in the front is very irate. She's already mad because she had to wait to get in and somebody in her party is disabled and has a walker and she is yelling at me telling me I have to let her in that her friend is disabled has a walker they have to sit down they have to sit down I have to let them in I'm, I'm panicking because I'm like I don't know what the protocol is for this because I've never done this before I don't know this is like my fifth show I think I worked um fourth or fifth and I I was like, okay, wait here. I'm literally gonna walk right over here and try to get the attention of my supervisor, one of my supervisors, because I don't know what to do. And she was like, oh, you need to let us in. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And she's like, you need to let us in. So in my moment of panic, I walk over, just step a couple feet to the side, and this woman bursts through the doors. And my supervisor's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I didn't, I was trying to get your attention because I yelled for you and you were not, <laughs> and like, I, I got really upset. I was like in tears and like on the verge of a panic attack. And she was like, I was like, I was trying to tell you something. And she's like, what were you trying to tell me? What were you trying to tell me? And like getting up in my face and yelling at me. And so I was like, nothing, never mind. And that was the night that I quit <laughs> because I just thought that the situation was handled very poorly. It was very bad management skills. The situation could have been handled. I'm explaining the situation very poorly, but I feel like things could have been handled so, so much better on her part. And I, that night, every single night I went to work, I had really bad anxiety just because like the people that work there aren't super social. Um, they are, they're very clicky, they hang out with the people that they know, and then the new people are kind of just stuck by themselves. And so, you know, I didn't really have any friends at work, except for, you know, a couple times I worked with, um, the same people, so I kind of knew them. But every single day, every single night, I went to work with really, really bad, bad anxiety, because I had no idea who I was going to be working with, and what the night was going to be like. And that was the night, the night that I got screamed at and embarrassed in uh, front of everybody. There were other people standing there and they're like, hey, you know, it's okay. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but I was literally crying. And like, I'm not, you know, I'm not that soft of a person. Like, I don't really let things get to me that easily, but that just really struck a nerve with me. And so I never went back. Uh, I was like, I cannot deal. From the very first day, I knew I wasn't going to like that supervisor, just from the way that she carried herself and the way that she acted towards other people, I knew that the way, that, I knew that there was no way we were going to get along. And, um, so I literally just never went back to work. I sent my district, or my general manager, not my district manager, my general manager an email. I said, I really hate to do this to you, like, this is not in my character at all. Like, normally I would, if I was going to leave a job, I would at least give a two-week notice. But I cannot, physically cannot find it in me to come back and work another night at that venue because I will not work with, insert supervisor's name here. And that was it. So yeah, the job did have some perks. Like if you worked five shows, you could get free tickets. I didn't make it that far, so I never got any free tickets. And like, if you were on break, you could get free drinks from the bar, not alcoholic drinks, but like soda, pop, whatever you want to call it, Pepsi, um, water, whatever. You just tell, well, we had shirts that we wore, so usually they could tell that you work there. Sometimes I had to be like, hey, this is free, I work here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you got like free beverages on the clock and free tickets to shows if you worked five shows, which I didn't, like I said. And, I mean, I'm not trying to say that the job was absolutely terrible. I just feel like 
like I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like the idea of working at a concert venue is really glamorous and you can just see yourself getting all these opportunities. And in my personal experience, it just was not like that. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys the cold hard reality. It's really just like any other job, honestly. I mean, it is kind of cool because like you get to listen to the shows. You can't stand down there and watch them, not even on your break, which I thought was really stupid. But like unless you were stationed in a room where a show was going on, you couldn't stand down there and watch. So that was really disappointing. I definitely thought that was gonna be part of my job. When I applied for the job, I was like, oh, hell yeah, like I get to make money and watch concerts. No, that's not how it was at all. Um, and the people there, like I said, very clicky. They didn't really pay much attention to me. They never really got to know me or cared to get to know me, which is fine. Like, I know most people aren't at work to make friends. They're there to make an income, which, you know, I wasn't that butthurt about it. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal to me. It would have been nice. I just never really felt like I belonged there. They have a lot of people working there. Like, a lot of people. And nobody ever really took the time to sort of make me feel welcome. Everybody just kind of stuck with who they already knew before I got there. And I was just kind of left by myself. And it was a really bad feeling. So yeah, at the end of the day, I am glad that I left. I feel like I made the right decision for me personally. And um, I'm happy with, I was working two jobs at the time. I was working the job I'm working currently. And then I started working at the concert venue and then I quit the concert venue and I'm still at my other job. So um, making less money, but you know, at the end of the day, it saved my mental health. Cause like I said, I, that job made me extremely anxious. I just don't think it was the job for me. Uh, but, you know, I got experience from it, so that was cool. And, you know, who knows, maybe one day down the line I'll try a different venue or something. I really, there's a venue that I want to work at, um, that takes, like, what are they called? Interns? Um, which I'm probably going to look into that. It's, it's kind of a drive from my apartment, but it's okay. But yeah, that was basically my experience working at a concert venue. I don't want it to scare you guys away from working at a concert venue because I don't think it's an overall bad job. And every venue is going to be different. Like, this particular venue that I worked at is like, it's not like a Bogarts where there's like several across the country. It's just this one specific venue. So, um, I'm sure the protocol at venues, different venues is different, but this is just my experience. Uh, like I said, I didn't work there very long. I worked there for a little bit over a month. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I am hoping to have another one out soon. I'm not going to promise anything because you know how I be. But, anyway, um, I do want to do a video with my girlfriend eventually. And get something up on my lifestyle channel at some point. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great start to your year, and I hope the rest of the year goes smoothly for you if you guys never watch another one of my videos. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your year, rest of your life, um, and if you come back, if you subscribe, please subscribe. <laughs> I will see you guys next time.